What's good? I'm just getting into making manga videos, and I wanted to try making one of those awesome manga read-along videos. I'm reading Berserk by Kentaro Miura. I figured I would make a video from the God of Abyss chapter on the idea of evil. First of all, if you've never watched Berserk or read the manga and you're planning to, you may not want to watch this video as it contains many spoilers. Also, this is not considered canon. With that out of the way, let's read along. As Guts battles for survival during the eclipse, a horned apostle charges him. He only has a broken sword. Guts acrobatically jumps, grabs onto the apostle's horn, and snaps it off with the broken blade. As the horn flies through the air, Guts grabs the horn and with great rage, stabs the apostle with it. The apostle whips Guts off, but this man is angry. So Guts stabs the apostle again with the horn. He then gets knocked down by another apostle, but only looks at him like he's an appetizer, and then stabs him in the eye with the broken horn. Another apostle knocks Guts back again, but Guts stakes the horn into the ground, slowing his velocity and charges back at the apostle. Seeing red and screaming in rage, he stabs the apostle's brain. The Godhead are watching the scene, and Slan says, The boy does do his best. It's ironic, though. The stronger his life force and the greater his anguish, the more they become precious bread for the new life of darkness. Sweet dreams, blessed child. We see a decrepit figure siphoning energy. It looks like a strange botanical demon spawn or something. Until now, you've been called Griffith. And when that dream ends, you will awaken into a dream which you'll never wake from, in a night that will never break. Gut stabs another fish-looking demon in his mouth. Another demon approaches and picks Guts up, strangling him. Guts goes primitive and bites the apostle. The apostle throws him against a wall. <coughs> Guts spits up blood, but rebalances himself, ready for more. Guts sees the demon spawn of Griffith. It looks ominous. No time to think, Guts, as more demons enter the fray. Guts charges the demons, ready for more. He uses the horn and povotes himself into the air over the demons. We cut away from Guts and the Carnage to a light that appears to be reflecting towards some lower dimension. A voice says, I'm sinking. The voice continues, farther from the light. Where? Where is this? Where is my body? I'm sinking deep. We see the tormented faces of some familiar allies as the voice asks, what is this? We see the mutilated appendages of what we assume is the Band of the Hawk. These appear to be visions, which are becoming part of Griffith's essence now, as he says, All their deaths are piercing through me. Griffith's body appears like it's breaking apart, as he continues, I wished for it. I killed them all. It's strange. I don't feel anything. I'm sinking. We see two crystalline orbs, and Griffith asks, What's this? An inhuman voice responds, The crystallization of your last tear shed. A violent rhythmic shockwave repeats as the voice continues. When suffering so profound to make someone rip himself apart is confronted, a heart is frozen. Someone's there? Griffith says, as he sees a large vortex in the abyss. Griffith sees what looks like bubbles, but these are actually baylets, screaming baylets. The thunderous voice continues. These are splashes, droplets of ideas that have spilled from the sea to eternity, 
summons to the other world. The Griffith gets closer to see the entity that he's conversing with is a gigantic heart. And the repeating shock waves from before were actually its heartbeats. God? A Griffith asks as the chapter closes with the introduction to the idea of evil. As the next chapter begins, Griffith says, God? Welcome, human. Are you God? I am the idea. The idea of evil. The desired God. The voice bellows out as we see energy shooting from the heart's arterial pathways. God? This is God? This huge lump of flesh? What you see is a part of me. My core. Look around you. Griffith sees that the core is actually creating the gigantic vortex in an awe-inspiring sight. What's this? An ocean of feelings. All humans have, deep in their souls, a common conscience that transcends their individuality. Their collective conscience as a species. Its dark side is this swelling ocean. I was born from these swells, as the ego of this world. The world itself is I, the darkness that dwells in every human heart. The idea of evil, this is God. God, this, says Griffith, does that mean that, does that mean that it was humans who created God? Does that mean it was humans who desired this? This terrifying thing? This looks like hell, some call it. Hell, says Griffith. This is just the surface of multiple layers of a whole consciousness. But you know that this place is terribly human. Violence and loneliness. This place is filled with all kinds of blurred negative feelings. It is truly the will that defines human nature. Yes, it's true. Admits Griffith. This is in me. I can feel it. But why? Why were you born? Why did humans give birth to this will called God? Humans desired reasons. Reasons for pain, reasons for sadness, reasons for life, reasons for death. Reasons why their lives were filled with suffering. Reasons why their deaths were assured. They wanted reasons for the destiny that kept transcending their knowledge. And that was God, Griffith says. And I produced those. It's what I've been brought into existence for. I control fate. Obeying the essence of humankind, I weave every man's destiny. Does that mean that you're the one who controlled my destiny? That you're the one who arranged everything so it would be this way? It was established that you would be here since the distant past. By influencing the lower levels of human consciousness and merging blood with blood, I created a lineage that would give birth to the man that you are. To pave the way for the times that you would be born in, I manipulated history and created an appropriate context for you. All of the encounters you have had so far were all part of a destiny that led you here as well. This destiny, my God, what do you want from me? Be as you will. I dwell deep in your heart. I am part of you, a part of your kind's consciousness, a part of me. Your desire is my desire as well. Your actions themselves shall prove suitable for your kind as a whole. May those actions bring pain or salvation to men. Do as you will, chosen one. If so, 
Griffith says. I want wings. We see that the energy streams around the idea of evil are actually tormented faces. They gather around Griffith and then seem to swirl into it. Griffith is transforming. Take within you the power of feelings this inner world is filled with and change the physical field that is your body into a shape suitable for your task. We see Griffith now has raven black wings and Femto is born as the chapter closes. Super Nietzsche philosophical deep content. I will do another analysis probably into this video later. There's a lot of really interesting esoteric stuff we could talk about. But um, for now, just let me know what you thought of this video. And please, 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 if you like it, uh, please subscribe, comment below, like, and all that stuff. All right, thanks. Peace.